Hello, friends. Today we talk about morality. In China, morality is very important. Since I was born, the Chinese traditional virtues have been like a beacon, guiding me to become a better and a better person. Today, I want to make a test to evaluate: Am I already a person of good virtues or not? How far away I am still from the perfect moral role model. I invite you to join me. Prepare your pen and paper. Let's start right away. In front of me is a list of ten most important traditional Chinese virtues. Each point is worth ten points, so you have to give yourself a number between one and ten. If you think you are perfect, then give yourself a ten. Media five. If you think you don't satisfy this criteria, then give yourself a one or even zero. Okay, let's start our show. Virtue number one: love people and help others. Be filial to your parents. Hmm, I don't think anybody can be perfect in this. I think it is a dream for all of us. For me, I like to help other people, but I'm not sure that I am good at loving people. Well, I was born and raised in China. In most of my life, I was studying hard and working hard. I have no time to learn how to love people, and nobody taught me. But in China, there are so many people, such intense competition. I have to make all my effort to get promotion. Well, I guess I will have to well, minus three. And I don't know where I learned it, but in my impression, this deep impression, America is our enemy. So I don't know how to love all the people. In terms of the second part, be filial to my parents. Am I? Huh? That is a big question. You know, I love my parents. I respect them. But, but if I love them and I will stay in China, stay with them and take care of them. But I'm not. I'm in Europe now. So, minus five. Okay. So for the first virtue. I only get two points. Oh my god! The second virtue: observe etiquette and code of conduct. For example, be modest and polite. Make a good relationship with the people around. Students should respect teachers. People should fear and respect the rulers. Well, I am very modest and polite. I have a very good relationship with people around. And even though sometimes I don't really know people too much, or sometimes I even don't like them, but I always pretend to be very nice. I always greet them with a big smile. So I make my effort, and I respect my teacher. And of course, I fear the ruler. I fear all the rulers, and I fear them so much that I don't even dare to disrespect them. So I deserve a ten. The third criterion: be honest. Be a man who keeps his word. Oh yeah, I am very honest person, and I have a very good record of credit. You know, the bank calls me every day and they want to give me loan. Isn't is the best proof that I am honest person? And in China, if you if you don't have a good record of credit, then you cannot travel by plane or by train. I have no problem of this. So. I am totally a good person, so I get turn ten. Let's move to the fourth criterion: love your country, be loyal to it, and selflessly dedicate to it. Oh my God, this is a joke or what? Of course, I love my country. Well, but I suppose that the patriotic people will argue with me, because well, if I love my country, I will not move to another country, and then I will not marry a foreigner. I would stay in China, marry a Chinese man, and make a Chinese baby, and help to build a better society, to build a better country, and make us make contribution to the economy. But I'm not, so okay, okay. So I cannot get any point in this. Um, and 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 also even worse that I frequently say say bad things about China. For example, I complain that people spit everywhere so frequently, and I complain that there are so many knife attacks in China. It's not safe. And all these things ruin the reputation of China. So, minus ten. 
I get zero. Can you believe in this? Huh. Only by thinking that I love my country is not real love. We have to do something to love our country. So, well, I deserve a zero. Hmm. Why the chicken? <laughs> the chicken is laughing at me. Can you imagine? <laughs> let's let's go to the fifth criterion. Personal self-interest is subordinated to the public interest of society. <laughs> well, of course I can get a zero here because you know, I'm selfish. That's why I moved to abroad and and I only think about my comfortable life. If not, I will I will suffer with other people together in China and uh, will to share the share the responsibility with all my people, Chinese people. But I'm not, so I deserve another zero. Hmm. Oh wait, wait! I donate money. Yeah, I donate a lot of money to charity. Oh wait, wait! Oh, actually, I donate to Poland. I didn't donate to China, so it doesn't count. Mm, okay, zero. Okay, let it be. I believe I I have morality in, in other sense. Okay, the next one six. Be self-disciplined. Be cautious and strict with yourself at all times. Yeah, I can get some point here. I give you example how self-disciplined I am. During the pandemic, I was alone at home. Well, I was alone, living alone. And but but I did. I exercise every day, and I keep fit. And until today, I didn't get fat. I think this is enough to prove you I'm self-disciplined. But but I also have some shortcomings. For example, when I start to indulge in a TV drama. I cannot stop watching it. I will watch, I will watch like for several days until I finish, and I cannot do anything else. Well, uh, for this, for this reason, I just give myself a five. Yeah, it's okay. Seventh, don't be greedy. Righteousness first, and then benefit. That is, when you see benefits, you should first think about whether it is moral. I am a good person. I am very good person for this. Money is very important to me, but money is not that important that I have to cheat other people for money. But I was frequently treated by other people. Believe or not, I was treated when I go to buy vegetables in the market. I was treated when I take a taxi. I was treated when I move from one apartment to the other. I thought. I'm thinking that the world is so unfair. Why I'm so frequently treated? Why everybody wants to treat me because I look very nice, very friendly? In conclusion, nobody can get ten except for me. Next one, there are two parts. Be hardworking and thrifty. Cherish resources and do not waste food and possessions. And be incorruptible. I worked so hard when I was in China, for sure, no doubt of it. But but since I quit my job in China, moved to abroad, now I suddenly become very lazy. So,、mm, so minus three.、Mm. And but I do cherish resources, and I don't waste food and possessions. For example, I like to squeeze the toothpaste to limit until there's nothing left in the tube, and hand cream as well. And also, I like to collect rubbish. For example, I I collect plastic bags, and I collect empty jars because I think one day in the future I may use them. There is a second part: be incorruptible. Of of course, I'm very incorruptible. Well, sometimes I will give some present to somebody to celebrate something, but that is not corruption. That is propriety. So, in general, I get seven. Now we have two criteria left. The first one: respect differences, helping building harmonious social relations, and promote the diversity and the prosperity, prosperity of society. Oh, I I deserve a ten in this. I never discriminate anybody, and those people who wants to believe in church, I don't disallow them. And those people who wants to give money money to Buddha, I don't interfere them. So I get a ten. Now let's check the last criteria. 
overcome difficulties with courage and perseverance. Yes, I can get some point in this. I can give you some example. First one, I did investment in China in stock market. And you know, many people lost money in stock market then, and they are so desperate and they commit suicide. But I am still alive. And it means I'm very optimistic. The second example, when I moved to Poland, I have a lot of difficulties to overcome. The most important one is that I have to learn Polish language. And Polish is so difficult, and you cannot imagine. There are many times I really want to give up. But I didn't. That's why. Because I am a persistent person. And do you know how difficult it is to make a video? to make an interesting video so that you have patience to sit with me to the end of the video to listen to me to say everything this is so hard i have to practice 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 but i'm still here and trying making effort to make you interesting video so i'm a persistent person and i want to achieve my goal and i don't retreat easily I don't give up easily. So, of course, I'm not perfect, but for this, I can get a seven. Okay, okay. Now we finish all the criteria. Let's let's just sum up all the points I collect and and see how much I get in the end. Oh my God, sixty one. I have altogether 61 points. I barely passed. Can you imagine this? It means that there are a lot of space in front of me to improve. But it's not a bad thing, right? And, and I'm very curious, what is your score? You have to write your numbers in the comments to let me know. But you know, this score is not so important. We just make it for fun. But I tell you what, similar tests I did multiple times when I was in China. It is like a part of a job. Every year we have to make a self-evaluation and uh, evaluate other people as well. And this is nonsense. Why Why we were doing that? I just think that it's useless and how they can quantify a person's moral level. We have to do it and it's very important part to evaluate whether you did a good job or not. I don't know. I don't understand why they invent this. It's just such a nonsense. But luckily, I don't have to do it anymore. And this set of criteria of morality is the wisdom of our ancestor. For thousands of years, the Chinese people followed the lead of this criteria and, and tried to build a better society. And we are still using it today. But according to my opinion, many of them are outdated already. For example, this personal self-interest is not more important than public interest of the society in china people all believe so you know like if we participate in a military training we stand in the in the team and nobody ha can move because if one person moves then and destroy the image of the whole group that is how we were taught let me give you another example in olympic games two Chinese players meet in a game and they have to compete with each other. And then the coach came and he told one of the players say that, but the other player has better chance than you to win next game against a foreign player. So you have to let, let him win. So in the end, yes, the player did what the coach told them to. And yes, China win a gold medal. But I don't think this is a correct thing to do. So I think this is unfair. And I think uh, Chinese people deserve a better life and deserve to think more of themselves. In conclusion, I am more or less a moral person. So I should feel proud of myself. And you? In the end of this video, let me make a wish. I wish there are more and more good people in the world and people will be more and more moral and society will become better and better. Um, please subscribe, leave your comment and give us a like. See you next time. Bye bye.